Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. In today's session, I will be talking about some of the features of Washington DC release. So please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So now in this video, I will be talking about some of the features which is launched as part of service catalog item. So service catalog item has launched three features like uh, uh, one of them is like we can save our catalog item as draft and we can set the value and we can as well as set the field message value according to the warning or info message all right so let's proceed further and see first save as draft uh, feature of washington release for catalog item so what save as draft does is like it will allow requester to save their catalog items so that they can come back afterwards and make changes on their catalog items so I am going to show you a demo how we can see that save as draft button and how we can update that draft. Alright, so pro let us proceed to our service portal section under catalog item and see how we can see that save as draft button. So let's proceed further for service portal. So I will add SP on URL so that my service portal will open and now you can see this is my service portal page and I have clicked on catalog item and there is recent catalog item view group request user or group access request and now you can see this is our catalog item and button is visible here save as draft so now what i will do is like i will fill some of the information here suppose i will add here abraham lincoln and manager i will add eileen and location i will add and business justification as test and i will leave it as it is now i will try to click on save as draft button so now you can see this item has saved into draft it is not raised okay now i will click on view draft section and you can see we have one catalog item under draft section under my request so here there are two sections I started displaying submitted request and draft request so under draft request you will find your uh, drafted request which you were trying to raise earlier and you can come back here and modify your draft catalog item so now you can see there is a button update draft and now we can update the details as well suppose my business justification and now we can select our user provision and we will type here role underscore test and now I will update the draft and again our draft item is updated now you can see whether all the details are correct and you can click on order now button and you can update your draft how many times you like to update all right so this this way you can try to keep your requested item to be raised for, uh, to be updated further whenever it is required just we have to click on uh, save as draft then only you can update your item for further uh, checkouts all right so this is one of the feature which i have shown you uh, like save as draft button all right now i am going to talk about a uh, catalog ui policy action so we they have introduced in our Washington DC release we can set value and we can set value message set field value message all right for catalog items so this is our catalog item and now I will show you how we can uh, set those values and uh, we can set a field message all right so we will go to our catalog UI policies and now I will open our catalog item user group access request all right so these are the two ui policies which is written uh, for this catalog item so i will click on new 
I will try to create new catalog UI policy for this item and I will show you what are all other features added as part of catalog item. So our catalog item is user group access request. So this is our catalog item and uh, this is our uh, catalog UI policy. I will uh, add it as test for set value and field message and I will save it all right now we will see under catalog UI policy action what new things have introduced for catalog items so you can see catalog UI policy actions is started displaying here and now I will click on new and now you can see our catalog UI policy action record is open and now you can see there are two options added here one is value action one is field message type these are the two features which is introduced as part of Washington DC release so it is quite cool because it will reduce the right uh, writing of your script for field message and as well as setting the value so this will reduce the writing of your script you can see we can set the value from here and we can set the info message warning message or error message all right so now let us select some field here i think i will select uh, requested for now I will select this business justification so now what I will add the value I will add some value please add correct description alright and now I will add info message enter the description all right and i will submit it and now we will try to reload our form so this is our catalog item form and here we will see how our uh, catalog ui policy action behaves now you can see I have set the value without writing any script and I as well as I have set the field message for business justification and we can change we can change the uh, the currently it is showing as info we can change it to error also from field message info we can select warning also warning color will change I have selected field message type as warning and now it will display as a warning message and you can see it is displaying in yellow and now if you change it to error it will show in red color all right and if you select as uh, info it will show normal field message and this is the value you can set it and this is the field message which you can set it as part of our catalog item all right so this these are the features which were introduced for service catalog items for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it